What's up, everybody? It's me, your boy, the Fluffy Gamer. Today is Wednesday, December the 14th. And you know me, I'm alive. So today when I woke up, took a shower, cleaned myself, got dressed, I went out and hit up some thrift stores. I went to Reanimated Records. And then I went back to good old book off. Went back to good old book off. Wasn't really finding much in the way, but today I find myself spending some money and taking some chances, hoping that I can get what I'd like to get for what I paid for today. So let's get started. Starting with a local Goodwill. Picked up one title inside there. And three ninety nine. dollars I probably should have did some research. I just sold this. I found this like maybe a week ago and it sold real quick. But it, that was for the Xbox 360. This one, I always knew the PS3 for whatever reason for this particular series goes for a little less on the PS3 than it does on the Xbox 360. I grabbed it anyways for $3.99. I should be able to make a little bit of money. I was hoping to get close to $15. Bucks. I think I had $16 plus shipping for the Xbox 360. But for the PS3, I'll be lucky to get $8 to $10.00. Most likely eight on the high end. Maybe I'll get lucky and get $10. But anyways, let's turn this light off. Turn it off. Let's turn it back on. But anyways, I picked up a copy of NCAA Football 11. Football 11, $3.99. Disc is in good shape. Here's my receipt. It's complete with the manual. It does have the manual. So there's that. But uh, probably one of the things... Probably would have left inside the store, but oh well. It's too late now. I already grabbed it. Going up on a bay. I'm sure somebody will buy it. It does sell. So, anyways, the next place that I went to, this was actually uh, a pretty good pickup right here. Uh, TV series, TV show. Back in, I don't know how this old, maybe 70s. That's what I'm guessing. If I had to guess, I would say it's 70s. But uh, yeah. Um, sci-fi show uh they had it marked this was at a goodwill bookstore they had it marked for 9.99 but i see they're easily going for 40 to 50 bucks so that was a no-brainer i checked the, some of the discs they're in pretty good shape so i had to grab it and that is for the uh uh the uh complete uncut and digitally remastered tv show sci-fi this is the 30th anniversary edition of Space 1999, starring Martin Landau and Barbara Brin. 17 DVD disc set. Mega set. Right there. Paid $9.99. Comes with 17 discs. I think that's what I said. Yeah, 17 discs. Each one has two, and the last one is a bonus disc with just one disc. So, yeah. Going up on the bay. Never seen this show. Don't know anything about it. Except it's sci-fi. Space 1999. Going up on a bay. Should be able to get, like I said, 40 to 50 bucks. Probably put it closer to 40, but uh, yeah. They do sell. They are selling. Uh, let's see. Now let's do this one. Oh, the last place I went to. Let's see. What am I going to do next? We did that. We did that. Okay. Two places. The third place that I went to, Reanimated Records. And I spent a little bit of money. Inside Reanimated Records today. What did I get over at Reanimated Records? First, I spent uh forty. Spent about three things inside. There were total seventy dollars plus tax, so seventy-five, eighty-six. I think it was seventy-five, eighty-six. That's what I spent inside Reanimated Records. This is one of the reasons why. Kind of like talking about this episode being talking about spending money and taking chances starting with everything that i got from reanimated records i'm hoping that i can get what i could see that i could possibly get but also it kind of like you know some sell high but they also sell low so it was kind of iffy but i took the chance anyways i took the risk starting with the ten dollar dvd hammer collection movie called frankenstein Created Women with Peter Cushion, Suzanne Denberg. Obviously an older flick. 
It's a uh, Anchor Bay and a mark for 10 bucks. And as an insert, looks like the original poster and the disc is in great shape. Yeah, pretty sure I checked it. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure I checked it because it's pretty hard to get out. Oh yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. Anyways, spent 10 bucks on this. And um, I see it going for about 25 bucks. So this one is probably the better pickup over at Reanimated Records. I'm feeling pretty confident about this one. You know, at minimum, at least 20. So I'll double my money. But hopefully, hopefully, get closer to 25. But I'll be happy with 20 on that one. Anyways, the next thing I found, this is also a Hammer Collection movie. Older title. I think I've seen this one before and I passed it up. Definitely looks familiar, but uh, I recognize this one was actually sealed. This is one that I took a chance for sure. This is probably the biggest chance that I'm taking for the day. And that is for a movie called Hell is a City. And it's also an Anchor Bay flick. Brand new, sealed, Anchor Bay. And I see it all over the place. So I'm hoping to score 30 to 40 bucks. A lot of, a lot of one, the ones that are for sale are asking on the high end used. Like forty, fifty, sixty dollars used, and I've seen one sold. I think it was forty bucks if I remember used. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna take a chance. It's sealed. I see them also going for like twenty five, brand new. There's one I think for twenty five right, right now, brand new sealed. So this is why, pretty much taking a chance. Hopefully, whoever has that one for cheap will sell. Then the other ones that are left available, even the used ones, are asking a lot of money. Hoping to get at least thirty, maybe even forty bucks on that. So anyways, the one that I found at Reanimated Records that I'm most excited about and uh, should be able to at least double my money, this one was, I can get it out of the bag, $40. It is a Blu-ray 10 set, three movie feature tri tri uh, uh, trilogy, trilogy, <laughs> trilogy from director Park Chan Wook. I don't know, probably butchered it. But, uh, yeah, Palisades, Tar Tartan, Asia, Extreme. For 40 bucks. I picked up Sympathy for Mr. Vengeance, Old Boy, and Lady Vengeance. It's in a 10K set. In pretty good condition. The only thing that kind of deterred me a little bit from not wanting to pick it up on the corner, I don't know if it'll come through, but kind of looks like, I don't know, like, like, if it's like a defect or maybe like some of the the blue color around here has fallen off or whatever i don't know but for the most part the rest of it looks to be in very very good shape and it is it is complete opens up on the side 10 case and inside we have the three movies sympathy for mr vagin uh, mr mr vengeance right there disc the case seems to be in pretty good condition. I don't think I looked at the disc. Probably should have did that. Probably should have did that. Oh, yeah, not too bad. There's, like, a couple fingerprints on there. But uh, other than that, should clean up pretty nicely. So we're good on that one. Good on that one. And then this one, Old Boy. I've seen the uh, remake with uh, James Brolin. Thought that was pretty good. Have not seen the original version of Old Boy, which I hear is the better version. Which they usually are. The original ones usually are. So, old boy, yeah, that one's in pretty good condition. We're good to go on that one. And then the last one is Lady Vengeance. Lady Vengeance. Right, yeah. Oh, so two disc set. Two disc set. One is the theatrical version. Uh, fade to white version okay and then special features all right okay so we have all three and the only other thing left inside there is the little booklet little booklet right there vengeance trilogy got the uh, photos in there photos anyways these are all in very good shape 
very good shape except for what I pointed out you know on the bottom left corner I don't I don't think that'll that'll hinder too much from uh, somebody wanting to buy because uh, I paid 40 bucks on this and then these are going for 80 to 100 dollars used used so I should be able to uh, hopefully double my money not a problem on that one so glad to pick this one up this is probably the find of the day for sure but uh, let's get on to the final and last place that I went to, which was good old book off. Good old book off. <laughs> I met met one of the uh, workers inside there. I, I see them all in there all the time, but we never really like chit chat or anything. The guy uh, when I came up to the counter, he was like, I, "I just just wanted you're in here all the time. I, I just wanted to get to meet you." And what is your name? So I introduced my, myself as Philip. Yeah, oh, yeah. I mean, my my buddy worked there. He's working at the other one now up in Riverside. I guess they were talking about me the other day. Hope, hope it wasn't bad. Hope it wasn't bad. But anyways, I picked up two items inside the book off over here. I spent a total of 27 70 or 20 24 78 24 78. Spent some money in there. Taking chances again. Find this one uh, every now and then and they usually go for about 10 to 15 bucks depending on condition. They had it marked for $5 starring Andrew Dice Clay. I remember seeing this when it came out on HBO. It was a good movie. I remember liking it. I don't know if it holds up these days, but uh, at the time, Andrew Dice Clay, he was like the shiznit back in the day. The shiznit. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that is a movie called The Adventures of Ford Fairlane. I used to have a Ford Fairlane that I inherited from my grandpa. 1968 Ford Fairlane. It was all white. Four doors, a big ass boat. Had a 351 Windsor in that thing. And that thing hauled ass. But anyways, I remember liking this movie. I've sold these several times. Disc complete, double-sided disc. Discs are in great shape. Uh, case, I might swap it out, give it a better case. It's not, not bad, but I might swap it out, put it in a brand new case, and uh, hopefully get closer to the $15 mark. Plus the shipping on here. Going up on the bay, going up on the bay. And the last thing that I found, OGP might get a little jealous. I know he has the poster of this movie that may or may not be actually signed by Linda Blair, the main person of the movie. I believe she's the main uh, character of the movie. But I remember watching this with OGP and uh, Cinestock over Cinestocker's house. I remember liking it. Linda Blair looking really hot. And that is a movie called Street, uh, Savage Streets on the DVD. Two disc, double, uh, double disc, two disc set. However they call it. Yeah, two disc special edition. They had it marked for 18 bucks. Got a little mini poster. And this is what this is what OGP got. Apparently, allegedly signed. It might be signed by him or by her. But uh, yeah, two discs. Disc one is the movie. Disc two is special features. Yeah, the features. Yep. So the reason why I picked this up is because I see it going for 30 to 40 dollars. So at the minimum, I should be able to. I uh, hope that's not a scratch. Hope that's not a scratch. But, uh, yeah, I should be able to get close, at least 30 So I'll make a little bit off of it, not too much. Oh, yeah, that's just great. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, I really, really I remember liking this movie. I don't really remember too much, but, uh, yeah, Linda Blair, she's a badass. You know, on the streets, savages. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's all I got over the good old book off. That's going to do it for tonight. Time for me to get my car washed again. Doesn't really need it, but uh, I'm going to do it anyways because, uh, Unlimited car washes, 20 bucks a month. Gotta love it. You even get a free air freshener every time you go through Soapy Joe's. So I have a little bit, got a little, a little bit of brand new air fresheners in case I do need some. You know, they smell really good. They're actually like all natural. And uh, however they make it, but the smell is really good. Anyways, yeah, gonna go. Whoa, yeah, that smells good. Anyways, that's gonna do it for today. Today is Wednesday, December the 14th. I will see you guys on the next one. Bye bye.